Good afternoon, Linda from Samake. Uh, what a beautiful day we're having. Uh, tomorrow is the uh, June 21st, uh, first day of summer, but it's also the summer solstice. Um, many uh, past generations would call this uh, the mids midsummer night. It's the longest day of the year, where this, from the sunset, uh, for, sorry, from the sunrise to the sunset, is the day that we have the most sun available, the more light. In many traditions, this day was celebrated as a day of fertility, of um, thanks, of um, energy, of happiness and, and festivities. Um, if we go in England, uh, Stonehenge, it's a day where the sun passes at a certain angle and um, lights up the hill of Stonehenge, which is uh, like a pass-through. So it, it's very honor, honored and celebrated through bonfires and dance and music. Um, in the Chinese culture, it's the same thing. It's a day of prayer, of gratefulness, and of fertility. Uh, if we go in the American, uh, Native American Indians, um, the Mayan cultures, uh, it's a day where we um, honor Mother Earth. So it's a feminine day, it's a yin day. It's a day where all the, um, even though it's energy of sun and fire, it's still an energy of Mother Earth, so it becomes an energy that is feminine, creativity and uh, softness, kindness, gentleness. It's a beautiful uh, experience to take the time, if we can, at sunrise, to salute the sun, and at sunset to also salute the sun, to be grateful that we have so much light, metaphorically, inside of us, as well as around us. Uh, this light fuels our energy, uh, gives us clarity, warms our body temperature, allows for nature to grow and uh, give us food and fuel if you like. So um, the light is very, very important and it represents all our cells, our energies are often um, represented through sound waves that are represented through light. So tomorrow has many um, interpretations, but basically it's a moment to cherish and to appreciate being on this earth, living your karmas, experiencing new situations to liberate you from your karmas, to grow from them. And it's also an occasion to be in connection with who we really are in our essence and why we chose to come on a planet where we need to ground ourselves and to be in contact of the surroundings around us because these surroundings they they may not define us but they um, they are very important in our tools in finding our resources to define ourselves so according to where we live on the planet the summer solstice is always a day that is honored and celebrated through bonfires dance and happiness, everybody gets together. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy of uh, community and celebration. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you about, about a little bit about um, what the uh, American Indians would do. Uh, they would um, salute each cardinal direction. The East representing uh, Mother Earth, um, it's, its color being yellow for the earth and um, it would also salute uh, the south represented by fire red the west which is the wind which is air um, which is green and uh, also the north which is uh, blue which is water so all these elements um, form the essence of everything that is alive on this on this manifestation on this planet so they are four directions that bring different um, elements different qualities different challenges 
And when all of these are, are celebrated, then um, we are in a complete communal um, state of minds, physically, um, spiritually, and emotionally. So uh, being aware that Mother Earth gives us our food, being aware that the fire purifies us and warms our body, being aware that the wind will broom away our challenges and will clear our heads and bring new energy, and being aware that the water will cleanse us and um, clear our emotions is, is a, um, an awareness, a consciousness that brings us to a, a global positive sense of seeing things, of uh, manifestations uh, that are daily and are positive. So if you can, tomorrow take the time to salute each direction or at least salute the sunrise and the sunset. And if you are from a different culture, please celebrate according to your rituals and to, to excuse me, to your beliefs. Um, there are no good beliefs or bad beliefs. They are all personal to each and every one of us. Uh, I am not an Indian, but I believe in, in Mother Earth, and thus I respect the American Indian rituals. Um, I'm of Irish descent uh, and Scottish descent, so I Stone Edge being part of the British Isles is very uh, representative of what I believe in also. So I mix the two. So it's very important not to be afraid to celebrate with the attitude that suits you and to be completely honest in what you're doing. That's the main thing. When we celebrate and we respect and show uh, gratitude from the heart, there is only a good way to do it because it comes from your heart. It comes from greater within yourselves. So tomorrow is a solstice. Please hurry up and do all the heavy stuff you have to do today so that tomorrow your work day, your family day uh, can be a happier day, a lighter day and bring peace and happiness and especially uh, awareness of how lucky we are to be aware of all that's going on around us. And uh, may the people around us that are more negative or speak different truths from us see the brightness and the light of tomorrow's summer solstice. So have a happy bonfire if you can, if, uh, maybe you'll only do it on over the weekend because uh, in Quebec we uh, celebrate Saint Jean Baptiste. If so, it's fine because the celebration can last quite a few days. So on that note, I wish you a good week and please be aware that next week there will be no um, live video chat for I shall be on vacation. I'm taking a few days off. So if there's anything, please send us an email. We shall be picking up our emails and our messages on the phone every day and we are open only for um, consultations and treatments. The boutique will be closed during the week. So we'll see you on the week of July 3rd for another video live chat. Have a good St. Jean Baptiste, a wonderful Canada day, and uh, I shall enjoy my vacation. And uh, on that note, ciao, ciao.